So we've got the door completed and uh, now we need to reassemble. Um, one of the things that I do first is starting off with the hinges. And there's a couple things you need to know when you're putting together the hinges. First of all, um, you're going to want to identify the lower hinge. Uh, there is a slight difference. Um, and what you'll find is that between the two hinges, this pin will slightly extend beyond this line right here. And you know that that one is going to be the lower hinge. In that case, it's actually going to be that, that one right there. This is going to be the upper hinge. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you uh, the necessary tools to go ahead and get this installed. And uh, that way we can start uh, putting the door together and eventually get it on the Humvee. So to start, uh, I actually like to use the Makita small uh, battery powered impact. I'm using a 7 16th socket um, and that's to take care of these brand new 14 by 20, I believe, um, uh, lock, nylon lock nuts. So that's something that uh, I figured, you know, I was at the hardware store, I'll go ahead and just order or uh, grab a, a new set. Everything else has been repurposed, uh, sanded down and then repainted, including all the bolts and washers. So um, what we're gonna do is just simply make sure to uh, get this done right. Um, and the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have these plates. If you do not install these plates between the X door, and it really kind of acts as a, as a reinforcement and sandwiches these plates to just Burst the uh, load across the area instead of through just the bolts. What's going to happen is if you don't use those, you might end up with cracking uh, starting at the bolt holes. So what we're going to want to do is simply identify where the uh, plates are going to be going. And in this case, we're going to have the rounded edge facing uh, towards the door. So we're going to go this, line those up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my upper hinge I'm just going to drop these bolts in there. Hold these in there. I'm going to slide the other, again, the rounded edge towards the door. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a washer. Followed by a brand new lock nut. Two more to go. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and button these things up. One thing I'm not going to do is tighten them up completely. I wanna keep them so that this hinge can move. So once we get the uh, uh, the door ready to be installed, we can go ahead and make the adjustments and not have to loosen everything back up. There we go, these are pretty snug, but you can see it still moves. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and repeat that on the bottom. And then the next one we're gonna do, next thing we're gonna tackle is the door latch handle. Okay, so you can see now that I've got both hinges in place. They are snugly uh, fit. And then of course, like I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and tighten those once we get the door installed. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is take care of the door handle. Um, this is pretty straightforward. I'm actually repurposing the old hardware with the exception of new nylon nuts. So in this case, what we're gonna wanna do is uh, simply just drop this in. Now, one thing I did wanna mention is that sometimes uh, in my experience that when you drop these in, this tab right here, I don't know if you can see it, this tab right here, if it's not facing that direction and it's facing this way, uh, then you might have issues with it over here. So what I typically do is just make sure to, to turn this so that it's facing 
perpendicular with this line here. Once you do that, drop it in. In this case, I uh, just went ahead and I painted the bolts black just to match. I'm just going to go ahead and put in the washer and the nut. You know, do that for all four. And then on this case, we'll go ahead and tighten everything down and then we'll be off to the next thing. All right, the last step that we're gonna take before we get to uh, assembling the windows uh, is going to be the locking mechanism. So uh, what I've got here is I've actually got a brand new lock that I picked up. Uh, mine were pretty worn at the contact areas and a little bit bent. So uh, I just went ahead and bought some new ones. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to need four bolts that are going to go from the outside of the door through these four holes. You're going to need the uh, spacer plate and then you're going to need four nylon locks. These ones I just cleaned up. These were from the, uh, the factory so these will do just fine. And, um, and then once we get this assembly put together I'll show you uh, what you do as far as getting the uh, linkage set up. So one thing I did want to make mention is that when you are putting together this latching mechanism, uh, there is a pin that goes right into the bottom right here. If you go ahead and you bolt everything down, you're not going to be able to get that pin through. So as you go through this process, uh, you'll want to make sure that you get that pin set up before you bolt everything down. So the first thing what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and put the plate down. We're going to line up the bolt holes. And then what I like to do is at this point in time, I just like to put the pin through. I don't need anything crazy. Just put the spring in there to hold that pin in place. And then we're good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bolts through. And one thing that you uh, might run into is you might actually have to space out these uh, latches a little bit so your door opens and closes a little bit easier. I know on one of my front doors I have uh, a few washers in between the plate and the latch assembly itself. Uh, you'll want to make sure to do that again between the plate and the latch assembly as if you actually put it between the plate and the door you're actually going to damage the door because those uh, those washers are going to embed themselves into the fiberglass. So definitely want to make sure that if you are doing any spacing, to put it in between the plate and the actual uh, latching mechanism itself. So at this point in time, uh, very similar to what I did before is I'm going to just snug everything up. And then as we get into final assembly of putting the door on, then we'll go ahead and uh, tighten everything down. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten everything down. Get things snugged up. So we're good there. Um, oops. Now, the thing that you want to note is that with this spring, the way it actually works is that you're going to have the loop end go on the bottom, and then what this thing does is actually it goes like this way. This thing will actually get pulled up and over here, uh, but for right now. Uh, I, I'm not actually going to do that uh, until I get everything assembled and actually on the vehicle. So that's it as far as getting the lock assembly put together. Now you do have some place uh, or some play to be able to go ahead and move this up and down depending upon where the striker is. So you are going to need to probably make some adjustments. Um, there's not as much adjustment here as there are on the striker so I would definitely encourage you to work on the striker first then work on uh, the latching mechanism. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this set up. So let me go ahead and get the parts. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, now as far as the actual assembly here, uh, this is very straightforward. You're just going to need the um, rod clip, uh, which is actually, uh, this one right here is actually for the other side, but I'm gonna show you how it works. And then you're going to need the rod itself. So on the rear door, that's what we're working on here. We're gonna use this outer uh, location because if you use this inner location, it just, it doesn't line up correctly. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use the outer location, then just bring it down and then loop it into there. But at the same time that you're putting it into there, you're gonna to wanna to take your clip and you're going to want to put it around there and then through. Now you'll see this is the wrong side because what will happen is that the other, uh, the proper clip will actually clip right onto this arm right here. Um, I'm still waiting for one to come in, but uh, again, uh, just make sure that it goes through here and then it connects to here. The importance of this clip is paramount because what will happen is if you try and just put like a clip on this end here, eventually the pressure will pull this rod outward and then eventually this rod will actually pop out. Trust me, I've had that happen before. So um, you'll want to make sure to get these clips. They're only like $3 each uh, from some of the vendors. But again, make sure that you get a right and a left depending upon uh, what door you're working on.